Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Today I have something special for you guys, man. We're going to be talking about advanced JavaScript animations and why is it important for you guys to actually come in and learn this, right? Now, this is the introduction to the advanced JavaScript animation course, all right? So definitely, if you've been wanting to learn this, this is the time. Now, you're probably asking yourself, I mean, why is this important, right? Why should I even try to learn this? why would i even want to buy this course all right it's very simple guys if you ever been to websites like this or seen something similar to this where you see a website and you be like damn man how did they do this man how did they create this amazing website right it all comes down to javascript right of course it's a mixture between javascript and css and being able to know how to manipulate the dom but at the same time you also need to know a couple of other things like different libraries like gsap and anime js right now of course there's other ones to help you for scrolling right it's a whole combination and that's what we're going to be teaching in this course now what are the requirements for this it's very simple you need to know html css and a little bit of javascript you don't need to be a master just know what a variable is a function is and know your way around a text editor that's it very simple all right now let's continue talking about why the skill is important right if you guys have seen animations like this you might be like damn this is great this is very hard to do you got to be such an advanced developer but in reality you don't really need to be that advanced it's just more about practice okay now let's talk about the jobs because that's what you're here for right can you get paid with this skills and of course you can now you're probably thinking uh, can I get into Google with this? Can I go into Facebook with this? And yeah, you could probably use it over there, but that's not really what they specialize. Those big companies, what they do is they hire agencies. And this is something that you will find that happens throughout all of the different type of industries. It could be from the car manufacturing companies to, you know, a company like Apple to even, you know, somebody who just created this was it Elgato 4K uh, streamer, right? Like they might have this website done, but it's not really in-house. What they do is they go and they hire a digital agency who is well known and has actually done this before, right? And then from there, that's where your job comes in and that's where you actually apply to. So as you can see, this is like one of the companies, right? It says motion designer, but they're really looking for somebody with the skills of, you know, GSAP and, you know, having things like, uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? And this is just like one of the jobs. There's like hundreds and thousands of jobs out there, depending on where you look and what job boards you're actually looking at. But let me give you an example. So this is hook, right? This is a digital agency. This right here is their website. Okay. And as you can see, they've actually worked with one of the biggest companies in the world, which is Google. And they have done a whole bunch of different projects for them now of course as you can see they have some nice animations you know they've done the the little runner uh <laughs> dino runner for them they've done things like the youtube kids animation the youtube rewind they did before for them right they've done a couple of things like the tweet to search xovr right so this is an agency right now there's a whole bunch of other agencies worldwide and this is like why this skill is actually pretty cool because not only can you work in here in the US, but there's like literally agencies all over the world, like straight up, like literally go online, do a Google search, search in your country, digital agency or creative agency. And most likely you're going to find at least five to 10 different digital agencies that you can apply to for different type of uh, jobs for this advanced JavaScript animations. <laughs> okay so you can see things like mass appeal publicist right you got gyro we got firstborn avex uh there's a whole bunch of them right let me see if i give you another one here this is another list this is more like a global right you got webneck for creative so web effects stroga five w4 huge right all of these companies have worked with pretty much all of the major 
companies and industries that you could think of, right? Whenever you've gone to a website and you'd be like, damn, who built this website? Most likely it's going to be in this top 20 companies. All right. Now, like I said, this isn't like what people actually go and tell you about here on YouTube or in other platforms. Like they just focus on how to get to Google, how to do this and that, but they don't focus on the creative side of things and how do this websites actually get done. Right. This is not the companies that's building the web applications. What they're focusing more is the user experience and creating landing pages and creating digital uh, ads and, and, and things like that, that people can actually enjoy and actually go in and buy their brands and, and the things that they have to do, etc. Right. So. I'm going to give you guys another example. This is a great company that I really like Conrad because they've done a lot of work, right? For a lot of people like McDonald's, you know, Spotify, they've worked with a whole bunch of different companies and their work is top notch. Now, one thing that you can see if you click in here, careers, you can come in and start looking at, at different jobs that they might have. And what's cool about companies like this is that they're global. Like I said, you see, you have New York, Toronto, San Jose, Vancouver, etc. right? There's so many different places that they have offices. But once again, this is not what everybody tells you about, right? People don't focus on this, but this is what I do. I love to focus on the jobs. All right. Now, once again, you have companies like Polysysma, right? There's a whole bunch of them that's out there. Now, what exactly you're going to learn in this course, right? You're going to learn the basics of animations with JavaScript. You're going to learn how to use GSAP. You're going to learn how to use AnimeJS. And we're going to build a couple of cool projects that's going to help you understand how to do animation and how to have everything smooth and proper for you to have a, a portfolio that stands out right stands out and you're able to get into this type of job market all right so if you like this guys listen this is what i'm gonna do like i said this is the introduction right now you're probably watching this to youtube or you're watching this on my website codingphase.com on the description or somewhere below there's going to be a link where you're basically going to get a crazy discount right so my advice is take that discount and buy this course right pre-order it we are building it right now and we're getting everything out there for you so you guys can actually apply to this type of jobs all right so yeah man it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com once again giving you guys something that you can really make money from and you can have a skill that you know makes you more competitive out there all right i'll see you guys later peace